We're Mela and Don. And we're converting a 40-foot bus into our tiny dream home on wheels, one bite at a time. (laughs) What? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? (laughs) This week, we are tackling one of the most visually transforming and satisfying projects yet. There's a lot of options for blocking out light and heat for privacy on RV, bus, or van windows. And we found a solution that we're pretty excited about. For our bus conversion, we're going to be using Ready Shades Easy Mount Blackout Cellular Shades. What a difference. <laughs> I love it. Not only will these provide us with privacy, but there's also a heat reflective material inside the cells of the shades that'll block out about 99% of the UV heat and light. Before we jump in, we just want to say a big thank you to Ready Shade for partnering with us for this video. And they've offered a discount to anyone out there. And we'll include a link and a discount code below if you want to pick up some Ready Shade yourself. Shades from Ready Shade. <laughs> Nobody loves the unboxing process more than Pizzicato. We looked at quite a few options to try to prevent both light and heat getting into our bus. We wanted something a little bit more house like and doing research as far as how easy it would be to actually install them and the flexibility for our usage. This looked like it was going to be the best option. So they give you a little guide to help cut a nice straight line and you just cut it down to the size you need it and install it. Now the only thing that's going to make this not super easy for us, there isn't anything to install them into. This is an inside mount shade. So we have to make sure that we build out enough to connect the shade to. Which means we got some figuring out to do. We have about four different kinds of windows inside of a bus. So each one is going to need to be a little bit different, but we want to try and have basic same idea for all of them so that there is some uniformity between them. So today our plan is to just do a mock-up on one just to check it's going to work and know what we need before we head off to the hardware store to buy all the wood. Technically this is our window frame. The piece that will go over this and cover everything will be the window trim. Every single window is going to be a little bit different, but we have a main plan. Let's chop some wood. obviously going to be the hardest the first time you do something there's a lot of figuring out so I think we figured out all the little kinks for this window that looks nice now we know what we're doing we just got to do it in all the other windows <laughs> yeah the tricky part is that every window has to have a custom inner frame because of the depth of the windows to actually cover it up and make it look nice. So yeah. but we I think it looks really good.
First thing we're doing is getting what is actually the window frame, and that's the part that's going in around the bottom, the sides, and the top. Before we can get that frame put into place, we actually have to go in and cut a nice 90 degree angle, or as close as we can, with the, what's that vibrating tool called? Oscillating the tool. The oscillating tool. Bottom is 23. Now the other tricky thing is the depth. We have to cut it down so it doesn't stick out past the wall. It's about a half an inch, but it has to be less because we don't want the window frame actually touching this metal because it can have some condensation. So what we've been doing is using a tiny bit of Gorilla Tape. It's barely an eighth of an inch. We've been cutting it down, sticking it on our window frame, so that it acts as a thermal and a moisture bridge so that the condensation doesn't touch the wood of that window frame. All right, now we got a piece of cut. Now we go in and dry fit them. The ready shade needs one and a half inches for the top frame for it to secure to. The top frame is actually sticking out further than the rest. We notch out the corners so that it is the same width as the trim that will be going on in the future. Now because we're making square frames, we've got these little bitty areas exposed to the wall. And I don't know why I'm my sunglasses inside. <laughs> we've got these holes that are exposing our insulation. And so we just decided to reinforce the frames and to cover those up all in one go. We're just gonna use little triangles. Now that we got everything cut as close to size as we can, we're gonna try to put it all in place and see if it fits. It's one of those octopus jobs where you need about eight hands. Yeah. Now that we've got all our pieces cut, we glue and brad nail them together. And now that the whole three-sided frame for the back bedroom is glued and brad nailed together, we'll take it in and just double check to make sure everything fits. that. It's gonna go in great. Good. Oh, we need a cushion. What, what happened to our temporary cushion? It's in there. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, much better. Most of our windows are double pane. This one is unfortunately a single pane, but what that means for our frames is our wall space becomes thicker. So our window frame actually is much thicker here than in most of the other windows. The sofa cushion will also be here and this will be a great place for a chunky cat to put his butt and look out the window. We got four window frames done, that means we just have five more to go. But right now it's Don's father's birthday so we are actually going to head out and have some dinner with him. Leave him some love in the comments. Happy birthday dad! Yesterday we both got a little bit of sunburn. And put together the majority of our pieces for our window frames. We managed to rope Don's dad into helping us getting started with the painting while we finished up creating the frames. Hey 
And then we jumped in and finished up the first coat of paint on those frames so they'd be ready to install today. Putting our frames into place is a rather straightforward process. We're basically just gluing and nailing the frames into the wall. Look how nice it looks! Yay! It looks so good. I'm so happy. We've been staring at these unfinished windows for a while now and Wow, it just completely changes it, doesn't it? Now, some of the other windows, it was easier to keep the frame in separate pieces just based on the location of the window. For our big windows, we went ahead and designed our frames around them, but we've left our emergency exit opening so if we ever need to we can get out that window or we can get out that window really quickly what a difference <laughs> i love it yeah just walking into the bus and walking all the way to the back it just looks finished cleaned up all of a sudden I just love looking down that whole way now. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. But the most important thing is we've planned these out so they've got room for our shades. We finally get to install our shades today. First step, we're going to measure from one side of the frame to the other. 22 and 3 quarters. This is the 30 inch version, which we know we're going to be able to cut down because it's big enough to get into our 23 and 3 quarters window. Pull off the endings and then use this little guide that they've made for you to line it up with your measurements and cut with a knife. Then you just pop those little ends back on and do the other side. Now they've made it nice and easy for you by putting measurements on either side to tell you exactly where to cut. You can't just cut from one side deeper into your blind because there's cords inside here that make it work. Now you just peel the sticker off the top and we put it in. Now they have different types of shades. You don't have to just have an inside mount one. They also have shades for outside mounts or arched windows. And they also come with different types of fabrics. Some are pleated, some are cellular. You could just have it for privacy, room darkening, or like us, you could choose a blackout one. You can see inside of this blackout blind how it's got this metallic fabric and that is what is blocking out the heat. bus windows we have to get some big shades these ones are 60 inches because we need it to be 55 and a half inches okay private. 
Now, because we have built my desk here, the desk is slightly in the way of the blind being able to pull all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and take a notch out of the desk so the blind will all go all the way down, but we're gonna go ahead and continue getting the rest of the blinds installed first. The first part of the line is really easy to cut through. The bottom plastic piece is a little tougher. A rocking motion helps to get through it. And some really good knives. We really need to get some good knives. <laughs> if anybody has any recommendations for excellent kitchen knives, let us know. They just kind of disappear into the space here. I can testify that this is one of the easier <laughs> projects we've done on the bus. Look how clean we are, we didn't get dirty. <laughs> they block quite a bit of light out. I'm really happy with them. I'm kind of surprised that they're working so well. But I'm pretty sure it's going to work really well because we can tell it's really blocking out the light. Yeah, the metal material that's in there, it's doing really well at acting as a blackout shade. If we were in a house, the install would be done and they look great. But this is a moving vehicle, so there are a few things to consider. Like when we're driving, they're going to move around and wobble a bit. Also, if you're not parked on completely level ground, they may sway slightly away from the window when you pull them down. So we may be doing spotifications to the blinds and to the window frames with magnets. We're thinking of some magnets at the top and at the bottom, so whether it's open or closed, it can be securely in place. We've also got some touch-ups to do to our frames, but again, that can wait. I can say that really the window frames, the window trim, and the blinds, it just suddenly looks finished. Yeah. If you want to check out all the options, head over to readyshade.com. There is also a list of where you can purchase them. Now, if you've been thinking about getting some new shades and you'd like to save a little money, Ready Shade has given us a special link and a code below that you can use to get a discount for a limited time. We're thinking of just having some magnets at the top so when it's... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Which means cutting out each corner. <laughs> Don't mind Don. Blow on his nose. A wasp just flew into my face. Are you okay? And they also come with different types of fabrics. Some are pleated, some are cellular. We're working on the details this week. It's gonna be hard to keep the cats off this table. One of the things we had to figure out before we hit the road is latches for our doors in our kitchen. They look so modern and sleek. 